bed poop all over me like on my back i was disgusted i was floored for life and i oh Straight from London, girl looking cute on her counter. But she came through on the dance floor. Come on, feeling so now she wonder. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Jenny. So as you can see from the title of the video, today is going to be a story time. It's long overdue. I haven't done a story time in a long minute. And I'm also going to be doing a quick get ready with me glam session. So let's get into this video. So it's currently 12.15 and I want to be done with this video in an hour. I don't know how possible that's going to be because it takes me like two to three hours to do my makeup. So it is going to be a challenge for me. But I'm just going to delve into the video slash the story time. Okay, so this story happened a few months ago when I was still in Ghana. And like I don't know, it's just a very frustrating story. That's all I can really say about it. You know those moments in life that things just aren't going right for you. It was one of those days. It is one day. Um I wanted to go out. Like I just wanted to go out and have fun. It was getting closer. It was getting close to um the date where I was about to leave Ghana and I just like I really wanted to do everything before I left so I texted my friend we're just going to call her homegirl in this video I texted her and I was like yo we need to go out okay we need to go out we had been planning for a long time to go out together and like you know just go somewhere get lunch have fun okay so we planned the date where we wanted to go to all of that like we planned it yeah so guys the sun came up and i was just all over the place i started applying my foundation and i knew i look a mess but let me just tell this story so homegirl and i we did some talking we planned um the day we wanted to go i don't remember what day of the week it was due. and then we we're thinking about where we wanted to go so we we're just like going on google looking for like cute places where do we want to go and we found a place guys and the day came, we're ready, we dressed up. I left my house and I went to meet her. I said to her and she was around East Lake gone. So I dressed up, I went to meet her. And yeah, so basically when I got to her um, place, so it's when I got to her place, all of a sudden we started contemplating and we really wanted to go to you know the place we had decided on i don't know why we started contemplating i don't know why we started changing our minds but yeah we just started changing our minds for no apparent reason and we're like okay we don't really want to go there let's look for another place so we now spent like an extra 30 minutes looking for new places to go to so we're just going on instagram and seeing because we wanted like cute places where we could go and take pictures so it's just going on instagram and looking at places where other people have been where we can go blah 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 and eventually we found this place i don't should i mention the place i don't know i don't think i will but if you've ever been here and after i say this story trust me you know what i'm talking about so we decided we ordered our uber uber took forever to get there Finally, finally, we have left the house and we're going. So yeah, <laughs> when we're in this Uber, we're not really paying attention. Like, do you get what I'm saying? We're just talking. We hadn't seen each other in a while. We're just talking. And before we realized, we had reached some, some connects, 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 connects. And the driver told us we are here. Now this place was such a popular place, like on Instagram, everyone was going here. So we, we thought this place was some 
db 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 please be like some big thing and when we got to the place it literally looked like somebody's house like from the outside like it was like we're in a neighborhood like where like on a road where houses are like people's personal houses it wasn't like an area where restaurants and hotels and stuff are there like do you get what i'm trying to say so that was the first confusing part about the day so we're like ah are we at the wrong place then we actually realized like people are going in and out in and out and it was actually like a gate like a gate like somebody's house so <laughs> that's when we're like okay we, this is the place this is the place let's go so we went in they asked us where we wanted to sit actually i'll give it to them the inside like the decoration and all it's cute like it's really cute but from the outside they need to do something about the farm so we went in we got a place to sit wrong decision we didn't pick the right place to sit by the way i don't know why we picked that place but we did hey guys this sunlight is actually getting to me like it's, it's not helping it's not helping at all and i don't like it but we are going to say our story regardless so we got to this place and they brought us the menu now as we were there Hungyo and i we were on a limited budget i can't remember exactly how much i take there but i had limited a limited amount of cash on me and bear in mind i do not have i did not have mobile money at that time so i had like money at home and i had money on my cousin's mobile money we both had a limited amount of cash on us but see we had enough like we've been to restaurants before and we had an idea of usually what the price lists are so he brought us the menu here and ah, they brought us this tiny piece of paper and it was like first course second course third course and there were like three options for each course does that make sense and we're like ah, what is this so we called the lady and we're like what if we don't want anything here because it was a very limited list so then she came to explain how they work like how they operate basically yeah let me see my brows basically every day they have like three options that they serve and they have like a three course meal so you pay for either a two course meal or a three course meal and in those things there are always three options so for example that day i think like there was pasta and something potatoes and something steak and something i can't even remember but yeah that's how they run apparently and well we didn't know that so what i okay so both me and my friend were not really amused by anything on the menu that they gave us but we're like see we came all the way here it's actually getting late because we spent so much time telling where we wanted to go like we are just going to pay for something now the full course meal like the three course meal i think it was like 180 cc's i can't remember but it was in the hundreds hundred and something so ah our question was what if we don't want we just want one food to eat like we just want lunch <laughs> and we're like no you have to pay for that's how it is that's how their menu is blah 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 so now we started doing calculation here yeah? started doing calculation about everything and i think i don't know what went wrong in the calculation or if I, I really don't know what happened actually but when we did that calculation we could pay like we could pay for everything we could pay for our drinks we could pay for the three course meal not even the two course like the three course and we're like sure no problem so we did selection and they started bringing the food trust me the food was not even all that it was okay but it was not all that i think the starter we ordered shrimp and something 
or lobster and something i don't remember but the, i remember the starter was nice the food itself like the main course it was sweet potatoes and like steak the potatoes were really good the steak was disgusting hey bro like i'm a meat person like i really like meat but i couldn't eat it then they brought dessert their dessert was also okay it wasn't all that but it was okay and we had other drinks as well the drinks are also expensive bear in mind like it was like 50 cities for a cocktail we had finished eating and all of that you know we came there we came to take pictures we came to sleep we came to look all cute we came to shake the place trust me like we're we're hyped we're extra hyped we're a bit tipsy as well <laughs> no lie and we're just all over the place like we're just making noise we're just making noise it was just the two of us. My friend is really hyper, and when we are together, it's mad. So, guys, after we finished taking all our pictures and everything, they brought us the bill. So, they brought us the bill, and we realized that this is beyond our budget. I guess when they added VAT and everything, I don't know if we made a mistake in the calculation before we. I just don't know what happened. And also, I remember also. My friend thought she had a specific amount of money on her and it turned out she didn't. She had less than that. That also affected it. Because, you know, we did calculation like my money plus her money. Yeah. When it was time to pay, she realized she doesn't actually have that amount on her. So now, wahala, we don't even have enough money to pay. I think we could pay like more than, we could pay like 80% of it. And yeah, the rest, wahala, we couldn't pay. Now we weren't really panicking too much at that point because we both had my friend also didn't have mobile money but she had money like with her sister so it was either like she calls her sister to send her money, I had money with my cousin, like I call my cousin to send me money. It was that simple. We weren't panicking. So at this point she was texting her sister, her sister was not replying. She was calling her sister, her sister was not picking. I was texting calling my cousin, no answer. That's when we started panicking. We're so chill, like, okay, let's just spend some more time, take pictures, wait till somebody answers the phone. Guys, so it was at this point where the waitress just kept coming to us, like, to ask us, are you ready to pee? Are you ready to pee? Blah, blah, Because we asked her for the bill because we're ready to leave. Now, we are sitting there with the bill in front of us, no drinks, no food, and we're just sitting there. We're like, oh, no, we are not yet ready to leave. You're not ready. And she'll be like, okay. Ten minutes later, she'll come back and ask us. That's when we realized, okay, it's, it's getting quite late. We're getting a bit frustrated. So, at this point, we're like, let's just get somebody to send us money and we'll pay them back later. So we started asking around. I started asking, like, I would call my friend, I'd ask her, I don't have mobile money. Like, that was everybody's answer. I don't have mobile money. Which was quite shitty. Like, guys, get mobile money if you're in Ghana. <laughs> I was like, the fuck's going on? Why doesn't anyone have mobile money? Like, I was literally going through my contact list, which is not a lot. Like, I couldn't just text anyone. I had to be close to the person. And I don't have close friends like that. Nobody had mobile money. Either they didn't have mobile money or they didn't have money on their account or they were just not picking up. It was a very shitty day for us. So she was just asking her friends, her cousins, like everybody. Fam. So at this point, it was number one, it was getting dark. Number two, we had no clue how we we're going to pay. So naturally, two teenage girls in some abandoned area it's not an abandoned area but it was far from home and we can't pay this bill so we said we're like we're making jokes at that point so like see let's ask them if we can wash the dishes like we're desperate we didn't know what to do now as if that wasn't bad enough let me tell you guys what happened to me so the place was an open area yeah and it was like around 5 30 day and these beds, I don't know if they were bats. I think they were bats. I don't know what type of beds they were. They just started flying all over the place. Apparently, around that time, that's what happens over there. 
to a waiter came up to us and was like we should move under one of the canopies kind type thingy because the birds are going to start shitting all over the place so we should go under one of the canopies so we we're like oh okay <laughs> so we're packing like our stuff picking our stuff from the table literally in the move like we're like i was about to stand up to move under the canopy guess what happened just guess you guess it right bed poop all over me like on my back i was disgusted i was floored for life prop i was wearing an off shoulder top here so it was like my back was bare it wasn't like it was even on my shirt on my top it was on my skin bed poop <laughs> guys i was moving mad like i was going crazy i didn't know what to do at that point because i was just like <laughs> as if the day could not get any worse and i didn't like want to stress like i didn't want to flame up because i knew like i just need to calm down because the way the day is going i just need to remain calm if not i am literally going to lose my mind so i was just like i'm just going to stay calm i'm just going to stay calm the waiter guy like he went in um he went to get me like paper towels like wipes um a whole lot of shit and like trying to get this bed poop off me it was on me it was on the table it was on my bag it was everywhere i was like what karma is this i i didn't steal anybody's man what did i do to deserve this like fam i was so confused so guys at this point just keep in mind everything that is going on we have a bill that we haven't paid for we don't know how we are going to pay for there's bed poop on me well we tried to get rid of it but you know see if there's poop on you if you use paper towel survive that shit you, you are going to feel that there's poop on you whether you can see it or not i was just so disgusted like i was i was we finally moved and that like one of the canopy type thingies my friend was like trying not to laugh at me like i don't know i was even laughing at me because i was like i don't know what i did to deserve this i don't know whose man i stole to deserve this i really don't know what kind of karma is trying to hit me in the face but i'm just sorry for whatever i did hey guys so my bachi is getting low and yeah, I think I'm just going to charge it for a while and I'll come back to the video. Hey guys, so I'm back. I haven't really done anything. I just put my setting powder on my face and we're just going to finish up the story real quick. Now, at this point, my battery was dead. My phone battery was dead. My friend's battery was very low. What could get worse? So we had to beg like one of the wishes and gave her my phone so she could charge it for me so I could like contact someone from the time we asked for the check so at this point it's like two hours we've still not paid the bill we still don't know what we are going to do Fuck. so at this point it was dark like it was really dark we were tired we were frustrated we were just we we're just tired okay we saw we we're like like people were looking at us like because we at this point we've been there for like forever for hours we've been sitting there doing nothing for hours i want to do my eyeshadow i have my eyeshadow palette right here so guys we just had to wait for the phones to finish charging after the phones were done charging and we got them back we're back on the whole let's call someone let's take someone mission now my my friend's cousin said oh she's going to get someone to send us the money so well i okay cool this is going well we're waiting patiently waiting for a long as while and nothing happened nothing nada nothing i guess or well, the plan just didn't go well, whatever the plan was it wasn't working well at this point i couldn't feel like i mean i'm sure you guys are like why didn't you just call your parents blah blah 
we couldn't call our parents i don't know how to explain the situation but we just couldn't call our parents first of all if i call my mother my mother would blast me because my mother was in our my mother was the whole so my mother would blast me like jenny's why would you go out be stranded blah blah it was a whole lot of mess okay it was just a mess guys <laughs> she don't understand how much of a mess it was but yeah so i'm done with my eyeshadow and i'm just going to brush all the powder off my face and finish up so guys finally finally i'm sure you're all wondering how do we make it out of that place how do we finally go home did we wash the dishes like i was legit like telling my friend a bro see let's run away like nobody is going to notice okay they were busy it was evening so much was going on everyone was busy no one is going to notice if we run away but being the good children that we are we didn't run away but i got my phone back and we texted one of our friend and we're like you bro we are stranded <laughs> we are stranded fam we need you to send us some something something i don't remember how much we're like we will pay you back as soon as we get home we just need to get out of here see as we're texting him we do not believe because we're like the disappointment was so much that even when we're texting we didn't even have hope and he was just like oh sure no problem i was just like yeah sense from good yeah angel sense from good <laughs> so he sends us the money we asked the people for their mobile money because one of people people more money now watching the uber guys you you could ooh, do you think that they could get any worse now because it was even it was like seven getting to eight at this point okay like also gonna wait there for about six hours seven hours in total you know in accra around that time the uber prices are outrageous see accra is hard accra, even in accra is hard the uber prices were outrageous like guys where well, easily going i was going back to tema it was like 80 cds home i'm like where am i going to get 80 cds to pay where where <laughs> so we're doing that thing that we kept like like requesting kind of request like t until it got cheap and at the end of the day i still ended up having to pay like 60 cds so basically when i go home i had to like tell the uber driver oh i have to go and get money come back out and pay you so it was it was just frustrating guys when i tell you when i finally got home i just took all my clothes off i didn't even sit down i just took all my clothes off immediately and like run run into the shower hey guys i'm almost done with my makeup i just have to do my lashes and my lips and we'll be done i'm not sure if i want to wear lashes and lips maybe mascara will be enough we'll see hey guys so i'm done with my lashes my lips basically i'm done with my makeup this is the final look i'm just going to spray it with my setting spray So basically I've also finished the story so I found my way home my friend also found her way home she couldn't even take an uber like she had to pick a car like she had to pick a trusky it was so complicated at the end of the day I found my way home my other story a car is hard make sure you always have cash in you okay if you go to a restaurant and you see their menu and you're like nah fam this is not what I signed up for don't be shy to get up and leave we're not even shy i guess we're just we're just tired just on this sit down and eat but like don't put yourself <laughs> don't put yourself in the situation we put ourselves in okay we're lucky we found someone to pay for us and we eventually sent him his money back but guys don't put yourself in that situation do not be like us always be prepared or just leave don't don't do it don't do it so i hope you enjoyed this story time you know slave queens but we couldn't pay our bill we're broke we're broke slave queens <laughs> but that's all right that's all right sometimes you broke <laughs> but yeah guys thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed i'm going to take some pictures and i'll be posting those on my instagram so if you're not already following me on instagram be sure to do so at janice.mfl today's presentation shout out goes to mimi and sobia i don't know 
I think I got it right. Thank you, Mimi, for always supporting and watching my videos. I love you. Hey guys, that being said, I'm going to end the video right here. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications, subscribe, give this video a huge thumbs up, and I'll be back with more videos. Peace.